To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in CuCO3, we'll use these general rules here. So we know that this is a neutral compound because there's no plus or minus charge up here. So in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they'll add up to zero. This is a bit of a challenging one because we have copper, which is a transition metal. It can have different oxidation states. And then carbon, we don't see that on our list here either. The way to think about it is recognizing that CO3 is the carbonate ion, and that's CO3, 2 minus, and that because it has this minus up here, this 2 minus, that means it's an ion. And in an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. So if we add up all the individual oxidation numbers, we should get minus 2. Because of that, if this is going to have a minus 2 overall oxidation number, this is going to have to be plus 2 in order for the whole thing, a neutral compound, to be 0. Then we can figure out the individual oxidation numbers here for each element in the carbonate ion. So we don't know carbon, but oxygen, that's going to be minus 2 almost all the time. So we can set up an equation. We don't know the carbon. We do know oxygen's minus 2, and we have 3 oxygens. And that will equal the charge on the ion, is 2 minus. So x minus 6 equals minus 2. x is going to equal a positive 4. And that positive 4, that's the oxidation number on the carbon. The oxygen, we know, has a minus 2. Now, if we add up all these oxidation numbers, 3 times minus 2, plus the 4 here, plus the 2, that'll equal 0, because overall, this is a neutral molecule. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element here in CuCO3, copper 2, carbonate. Thanks for watching.